Good day to everyone, uh, wherever you are in the world. Hello to you from Dubai, from the studios of TBC INTV. I will be interviewing Mr. Rashid Salam, who is in Brunei, Dar es Salaam, a country which is not much known by many people. It's in the Far East, near to Singapore and uh, Malaysia. Mr. Rashid is a business personality. He has been a business uh, development director for his own company in Brunei, and he has a diverse professional background. We will be asking Mr. Rashid about his uh, professional background, about his future aspirations, and also about the COVID situation as it stands in his country, Brunei. So let's uh, join in Mr. Rashid Salam from uh, Brunei. So uh, hello everyone and we have uh, Mr. Rashid Salam. I gave you a short uh, introduction about him. Uh, and we'll ask him a few questions uh, specifically about uh, him and his, uh, his career moving forward. Uh, welcome, Mr. Rashid, and thank you very much for your time for uh, TBCIN TV. Always a pleasure, Nadim. Thank you very much for, for having me. It's, uh, it's a pleasure to be on board uh, this program. Thank you. Uh, and uh, Mr. Rashid, you are from a country... Uh, Brunei, which uh, a lot of people don't know much about, mm -hmm. but uh, I would start by asking you uh, if you could tell our viewers about yourself and what drives you and what is your passion uh, in your profession. You've been a, a business development, uh, you've been in the business development field for uh, 20 years now. Uh, so what drives you uh, professionally and what is your passion? And a little brief about yourself, please. Yes, thank you, uh, Nadim. Uh, my background really is in aviation. You know, um, I was an aspiring uh, jet setter, if you like. You know, um, I started working uh, in the national airline as as a, as a pilot. I see. Uh, so I was flying all over the the world, literally, uh, going through Dubai quite a lot uh, on the way to to Europe. Uh, but then that 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 was quite a while. That was about twenty years. Uh, you know, I did that, but uh, something tragic happened. So I had to 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 revert to to ground jobs because I have two kids. Uh, so I did my MBA um, in Nottingham, Nottingham University, up in the UK. Mm -hmm. And then from then on, I started the the. Uh, the as a, as a commercial uh, director uh, for the airline, you know. So but that so, wasn't good. So that was the time you moved from your aviation career and started in the in the business field. Uh, yes, very gradually. Um, you know, I, I I moved from aviation operations to more on the commercial side I see. for a couple of years. You know, I was heading the commercial side of uh, of the airline. You know, uh, I see. in charge of there's things like reservations, um, you know, uh, revenue management and that sort of things. Um, and then I was headhunted uh, by the Brunei Economic Development Board uh, to join them as the uh, assistant CEO for uh, marketing and investment promotion, you know, which mm -hmm. I did for, mm -hmm. uh, for a couple of years. Uh, we managed to bring in a few foreign direct investments into the country. Uh, that I did for about four, four and a half years. And then thereafter, I was headhunted again by one of the companies who actually uh, established presence in Brunei uh, to help them set up uh, uh, their company. So I, I went and joined them again for another about five years or so, helped them establish uh, their presence and brand in, in the country. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I thought it will be, uh, it's time to move on, you know, do my own thing. Uh, so I, I left the company and uh, worked for a company called Jubilee Consulting, which I have a, a, a 
slight interest in. I see. Uh, so it's basically a continuation of what we we did before with uh, the Brunei Economic Development Board. I see. Basically, what basically what we do is we we assist. Uh, foreign companies in setting up uh, establishment in the country, you know, uh, help them navigate the, the local uh, requirements, approvals, whatnot, you know. Okay. So here I am today. Oh, good. So you're, you're still with Jubilee uh, Consulting as a, as a director for uh, business development? Yes, I am uh, at the moment, yes. And uh, that's for we... the last four years, right? Absolutely, yeah. For the last four years okay okay so when you when we talk of business development uh, what areas uh, are you uh, mainly involved in in uh, developing or encouraging foreign investment what areas uh, are, do you explore for investment there is a, a few i mean we have to work in line with uh, what the government aspiration is you know uh, the government is is uh, very keen on high technology um, you know, uh, employment. So we, we, we try and look for companies that will bring the best value uh, to the country, you know. Um, not necessarily something new, but also to look at uh, collaboration with local companies. Mm -hmm. uh, and at the same time, we, we try and bring up uh, local companies as well uh, into the picture. Yeah. So we try and, we try and match make uh, or an expertise with uh, local know-how, you know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And and when you say technology, uh, does it include the IT infrastructure as well, uh, related to IT? Yes, absolutely, actually, uh, Nadim. Um, IT, you know, uh, biometrics, um, artificial intelligence, and that sort of thing, you know. Good. All right. Yeah, we, we, we try and promote those. Because I, I believe we have uh, quite a conducive environment in uh, in Brunei, mm -hmm. and and business ownership is allowed uh, hundred percent by uh, by non uh, nationals. Is it allowed? Uh, depends on which uh, which sector you are you are looking at, you know. But effectively, it it always always helps to have a, a local participation, you know, okay. because you you go into a, a very new country. Yeah. So you need somebody locally to help you navigate the, the, the regulatory requirement or the, the, you know. And that's where you come in as well, right? Yes, that's, that's where we come in. My company comes in. Good, good. Uh, so besides uh, talking about you, uh, Rashid, besides uh, Brunei, uh, where, which other countries have you worked, uh, worked in uh, overseas? Thanks. Um, on and off, I've worked in uh, in the UAE. I've um, flown and worked through uh, Dubai, uh -huh. Abu Dhabi, um, also in the UK, uh, a few a few places in the Far East like uh, Myanmar, Vietnam, you know, uh, China, if you like. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, Dubai is a, is an interesting place, you know. Uh, mm -hmm. If if you ask me to select, I would say uh, Dubai is is the best place uh, to be. <laughs> I see, I see, and I think you yeah. were here uh, related to the aviation uh, sector, right? Yes, and also very briefly through my uh, foreign direct investment uh, portfolio uh -huh. with the Brunei Economic Development Board. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay, uh, so you answered part of my next question, which is. You know which country or which city uh, you would prefer to live in or or work in professionally, and uh, your your answer I already got is that uh, out of all the places that you worked in, you f you would find uh, Dubai the best place to be. Yes, I think so because Dubai offers quite a lot of uh, variety, if you like. You know. Yes. Yes. I mean, to begin with, it's very safe if you're a family man. Exactly. You know, it's not. It's not a lot of places where you can have the children running around at the uh, at the shopping mall, mm. uh, you know. Um, and at the same time, if if you are single, there's a lot of activities to 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 keep you busy. Yeah. Uh, great restaurants, you know. Um, food it's, is good. It's uh, a city which never sleeps. And uh, oh. <laughs> ask me because I've been here 24 years. And uh, one of the main uh, attraction is its diversity and mm -hmm. and the openness. 
you're absolutely, fine. yeah, you, you, you're absolutely right. You know, uh, yeah. people are very warm. Um, and as you say, it's it's full of diversity. Yeah. Actually, I think Dubai offers that uh, a lot to to the discerning family member, or if you're single, you know. Yeah. Let's move on to something uh, different. How bad has uh, COVID uh, affected uh, Brunei in terms of businesses, uh, Russia? Yeah, it has been uh, quite bad, I would say. You know, especially in the uh, in the commercial and retail side. You know, mm-hmm. uh, because we had a bit of a, a partial lockdown uh, in the country, so a lot of the restaurants and uh, you know retail outlets uh, finding it difficult to to sustain mm-hmm. um, you know operation. Like quite a few has has closed their doors, uh, unfortunately. You know. But there are also quite a lot that has uh, reverted to, to technology, online uh, services, which mm-hmm. is, is great to, to see. But uh, all in all, it, it, uh, it has affected the, a lot of the, the, the local economy. Yeah. Uh, as I would yes. say, mainly, mainly in terms of uh, the retail side. It mm-hmm. doesn't affect us so much because we, we are on contract, you know. Uh, so regardless of uh, COVID or no COVID, uh, we just have to provide the services to our client and, uh, you know, adapt to, to the new ways of, of doing things. And, and, and how long did the, uh, did the lockdowns uh, last? I suppose this happened earlier this year? Uh, during yeah, the- we, yeah, we had about, we had about 456 days of uh, COVID free, if you like, you know, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. for a long time. Yeah. And then we, we had a second wave sometime in August this year. Uh-huh. That was uh, pretty bad. Um, and we had a, a partial lockdown, if you like, you know, by which, uh, by which I mean, we have a, a, a bit of a curfew uh, sometime in the evening, you know. Okay. Um, a partial so, lockdown, yeah. Partial lockdown, yeah, you mm. can still go out at night, um, but obviously, you know, mask and uh, screening is is mandatory. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in fact, most of the, uh, the officers, government officers, or private officers, have had to activate their their business continuity program. You know, yeah. basically, that's working from home. Mm. Uh, but now it's it's just recently announced last week that uh, today. Or in fact, yesterday on the fifteenth is the start of the official start of the endemic uh, in the country. You know, oh. uh, yeah. Okay. So uh, we still have the the, the the evening curfew up to ten o'clock in the evening. Uh, As of now, you you still have a curfew. At yeah. Ten, oh, okay. Ten o'clock. Okay. Ten o'clock uh, until four o'clock in the morning. Oh, I see. You know? I see. Okay. Yeah. So just after four o'clock, you can still go to the mosque and you know do your prayers and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, we, we still have that ten to four in the morning uh, curfew. Uh, what about the uh, travel and tourism? Uh, is it is it uh, back coming back or back to normal? It is slowly coming back to normal. I think the national airline is is slowly assessing the situation. I mean, everybody in Brunei is guided by the uh, the Ministry of Health advice, uh-huh. and as a nation, we've done very well. Actually, we've uh, abided by the law, uh, so I think slowly the country will start to open up uh, the borders. You know, uh, we of course, we, of course, we are keeping a, a close eye on on neighboring countries' developments in terms of uh, their COVID uh, progress. Mm-hmm. But there, at the moment, there are four places that uh, is is classified as a green lane, you know, whereby you don't have to have a full um, quarantine, if you like, uh, you know, going in and coming out, you know, mm-hmm. place, places like Singapore, uh, Australia, yeah. uh, UK, UK and China, I think, uh, is, is opening up. I see. I see. Yeah. Okay. Thank you uh, very much, uh, Rashid. Just one more uh, question is, uh, personally, what are your future plans as far as continuing your uh, professional goals is uh, is concerned? 
What do you foresee? Well, in, in all honest, in all honesty, uh, Nadim, I like to add value. Uh, that that is my forte. Whether it's a company or whether it's an individual, uh, when I meet someone, I, I like to be able to add value to them. That's good. Know, Excellent. Uh, yeah. So hopefully, you know, I, I have the opportunity uh, to do that. Uh, you know, with with any establishments uh, in the Middle East, uh, for that matter. Mm -hmm. And 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 that's where you are aspiring to to move on. That's yeah. That that is the the, the aspiration is is you know uh, to land an opportunity in in the Vida area uh, with one of the. Uh, established companies i know there's a lot of projects happening in the, in in the middle east uh, neom for instance uh, the red sea development is yep. is another mm -hmm. uh, so yeah so i will i would i would be looking to 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 aspire to land and, and the these, projects uh, in saudi arabia as well yeah the uh, and the projects in saudi arabia the, vision the neom, 2030 yeah yeah that's right. Absolutely. You know, um, I, th I think the focus at the moment is is in Saudi Arabia. You know, everything's happening there, you know, whether it's tourism, it's housing, yeah. property, you know, yeah. 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 Uh, very interesting. Good. Thank you very much. And uh, would you like to uh, say any, uh, tell any message for our uh, TBC INTV as uh, through TBC INTV. I gave you a brief about uh, what we stand for. It's a tech broadcasting channel, internet TV, and we are a new initiative and uh, we are growing, growing slowly, but surely. And uh, we hope to go global very soon with a huge team of uh, reporters from all around the world. So your interview, this interview will be broadcast through TBC INTV. So if you have any message for, uh, for us. Yeah, thank you, uh, Nadim. I mean, my message is uh, keep up the good work. You know, it's a very noble work. Um, it's a win-win for everybody. For TBC and for the individual, uh, you know, all we need uh, in this day and age is exposure, you know. Yes, and, uh, and the right exposure. You know, the right exposure, you know. Uh, so I think TBC is, is a splendid uh, platform for that. And I, and I take my hats off you uh, Thank for you. doing it. Thank you very Please much. Please keep doing it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, so that was uh, Mr. Rashid Salam in uh, Brunei for us. And I thank you again from on behalf of uh, TBC, uh, Rashid, and uh, wish you all the best in all your endeavors. Thank you, Nadim. Look forward to uh, meeting you again. Sure. Take care. Sure. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye.